Hello everyone, so today Vlogmas ends and in order to celebrate a really good month of Vlogmas I've decided to film my very first makeup collection and storage video. I've been on YouTube for three years now and blogging for the same amount of time and I've just never done a makeup collection or a storage video but I really enjoy watching them so I thought this would be a really nice time to finally film mine. So what I do in this video is just go through all the different places I store my makeup, how I store them, um, what kind of makeup I have, I go through some of the products and just kind of give you some information about my collection and how I store all of my products. If you don't like watching these type of videos, no one's forcing you to watch them. You can click away now and I'll see you in my next video. But if you do enjoy watching these collection videos as much as I do, then please keep watching. This is my desk. It is not marble on marble on white because it is a desk that I actually use every day to put my makeup on and then during the uni semester to do uni work on or to write on or whatever it is that I need to do on a desk. Um, and I also keep my everyday makeup on this desk. This back white thing with a whiteboard on the back is from Ikea. Um, I'm pretty sure you can still get it. It's just a little accessory in the desk section. The desk itself is an antique that I bought at a local auction house, so you cannot get that. Um, I have a little Buddha statue that was a gift, my vitamins, brush cleaner, a ton of books including my diaries, some pencil cases, things for uni, more things for uni, my everyday brushes, and different drawings or things that have friends or other people have given to me. I'll zoom you in and we'll just go into my everyday makeup. Firstly, I have four acrylic containers. This first acrylic container contains all of my brushes and my pencils and pens. It's a pencil holder from Muji. If I can find it online, I'll link it down below. The next acrylic container everyone is very familiar with. This is the uh, regular size uh, two drawer acrylic storage container from Muji. Again, I'll link it down below if I can find it. I also have an acrylic storage container that I bought at Howard Storage World. It holds nine lipsticks. On the top of my Muji two drawers, I store, like you can see, um, my lipsticks. These are just lipsticks or lip glosses that I'm wearing every day or that I want to use more regularly. They might be new, like these two at the top are new, this is new, um, these ones are in Project Pans, and the rest are just like wearing. I've got my MAC Fix Plus, my Skin79 Super BB Cream, my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, uh, Benefit High Beam that I mix in with my primer and it's my NARS Sheer Glow. Over here, like I said, I have um, Artiste Brush Cleaner. I also have Blackmore's Exercise Multivitamins. In the first Muji drawer, the top drawer, I keep base products. I have the La Roche Pose 50 Plus Anthelios XL Ultra Fluid uh, Sunscreen. I also have a clear cell tinted uh, spot cream, which is a pimple cream. I have my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I have three different concealers. The first is the Urban Decay Naked Skin, the RMS Uncover Up, and the It Cosmetics. I think it's called an Eye Lift in a Tube. It's got the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer on one side and the Hello Bright um, Eye Brightener on the other. I have the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Face Powder, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat, the MAC Pro Longwear Blush in Baby Don't Go, which I currently use as a bronzer and as you can see is becoming quite empty. And then lastly I have the Urban Decay Naked Flushed uh, Palette in the color Streak. In the second of the two drawers, I keep the eye products, and this one's pretty packed because I like having a lot of options. I'll start at the front. I've got the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded, the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Tough as Taupe, which I use in my eyebrows, the MAC Fluid Line in Phlox Garden. It's a orchid shade. Around the sides, I have six Naked Cosmetics pigments. These are from the uh, Sierra Nevada pigment stack. I've got the Benefit Gimme Brow, 
a sample of the By Terry Mascara Terribly uh, Growth Booster Mascara. I've got a Q-tip for when I mess up. I've got four eyeliners. This is an Essence Blue Me Up Eye Duo. One side is a nude eyeliner, the other side is a pink eyebrow highlighter. Got the Rimmel Scandalize uh, Cool Liner in bronze. I also have the same one in black. And this is an absolutely ancient Revlon eyeliner that I got from my mom. It's a wet dry eyeliner. They don't make it anymore. It's in Raisin Rage. It's perfectly good though and I actually love the color and the longevity of it so I keep it. This is a Revlon Photo Ready uh, Quint in the color Watercolors. This is my Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette. And this on the bottom is my MAC palette. So these are all the colors I've picked out for myself. I keep saying if anyone wants to see me do like a post or a video about my MAC palette, please let me know. I do like the colors in it a lot and I find it really helpful to see people grouping colors together because it can be a little bit overwhelming um, if you don't know what you're doing. So let me know if you'd like to see that. So there's another overview of my everyday makeup and brush collection that I keep on my desk. Next, we'll head over to my Alex 9 drawers in which I keep all of my other makeup. This is my Ikea 9 drawers and a mirror in which you can see me. This is where I keep the vast majority of my makeup, the products that I don't have in my everyday makeup drawer. I've got some things that I like to keep up here on the top for easy reach. And then I have makeup and other bits and bobs stored in these 9 drawers. And I'll go through those in detail. Up here on the top of my Alex 9 drawers, I keep a few different things. This is a little container I got from Ikea, and in it I keep things like my watches, some larger pieces of jewelry, and just kind of brooches and, you know, things like that. Things that I want to be able to grab easily. This is a little... Uh, plate that I think I got from um, Bed Bath & Table. I keep again some necklaces on it that I wear every day, a bracelet, and all of my perfume samples are sitting there. I currently have four sitting there. Behind that I keep my deodorants. So I'm currently using the uh, Ego QV Naked Deodorant and the Sukin Natural Deodorant. If you have any interest in those whatsoever, I will link my deodorant, natural deodorant post from my blog down below. In the back, I keep two body mists from Bath & Body Works. The first is the Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. And that one's the Kawaii Lay Flower. In front of that, I keep two perfumes that I have. That's Olola Sunshare Edition by Marc Jacobs. And that is Honey by Marc Jacobs. In the front, I have two little baby ones. They're both Daisy, um, but I think they're a different limited edition collection. That's Daisy, and that's Daisy Oh So Fresh. But they're from the most recent summer collection, I think. In the top drawer of my Alex 9 drawers, I keep all of my jewelry. In the back, I have boxes and different cleaning equipment and also an old watch. Then I have my big statement pieces, uh, both of which I'm pretty sure I got from Target. I have a jade bracelet that I do not wear. I keep rings and um, other random things in this little container. I don't know where I got that. It's just a little box with some stuffing in it. This is a jewelry organizer that I've had for something like 10 years, so I have no idea where it came from. I didn't buy it for myself. In the top, I keep all of my earrings in these little dividers, and then in the bottom, I keep necklaces. In the second drawer, I keep my base products, so that includes things like the It Cosmetic CC Plus Cream. I have a little four pack of Dr. Jart BB creams that I haven't yet cracked into, a little sample of the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. I've got my Extra Beauty Blender. I've got some Q-tips that I keep in a uh, bobby pin container. I've got another little acrylic container in the back. The Hangover Primer from Too Faced Box. Here I have my cheek products. So I've got a NARS Multiple, the Maybelline Master Sculpt, a NARS Contour Palette, a Maybelline Master Light, Stila Convertible Color and Poppy, 
NARS blush in Luster, MAC blush in Ripe for Love, that was from the Temperature Rising collection in 2013, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector poured in Opal, Revlon Highlighting Blush in Rose Glow, and my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Perfect Topping. This was from uh, one of their collections last year, so it's got a kind of embossed knitting print in it. On the side here I keep cheek palettes, so I've got my Stila Field of Florals uh, Convertible Color Lip and Cheek Palette. I've got the NARS Stephen Klein uh, Cheek Palette, the Despair Cheek Palette, which has three blushes, a highlight, and a mini Ida brush. And I've got my Inglot Blush Palette, which currently only has two blushes in it, but one day maybe I'll fill it. In the third drawer, I keep all of my eye products. So we'll start in the back. I've got the box for a By Terry mascara sample that I have. I also have my The Balm Balm's Eye Palette, which I'll be panning in 2016 in the back. On the side, I've got two high-end singles. The first is from the NARS Stephen Klein collection in the color Stud. That's a nice taupey shimmer. And I've got my Burberry um, eyeshadow in Pale Barley. In these three little containers, I keep my pigments. I've got two from Maybelline, a brown one and a purple one. And I've also got a sample of MAC Tan. Here I keep a cream eyeshadow base from Estee Lauder in the color Pink Zinc. And my Anastasia Brow Powder. And here I've got some more singles. I've got two of the NARS Dual Intensity, one in Himalaya and the other in Dion. I also have two of the Kiko Wet and Dry eyeshadows. The first one is in the color 225 and it's a deep blue. The other one is the color 212 and it's a kind of green, I don't know, like sea foamy kind of color. Back here I've got two palettes, I've got my Lorac Pro palette and my Urban Decay Naked 2. In the front I've got eyeliners, so I have a um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Underground, Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in 19L, and the Hourglass 1.5mm Gel Aligner. I've got two mascaras. This is the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara and the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes in uh, Extreme Black, I think. Neither of those have been opened yet. And I've also got my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. On this side, I've got some more palettes. The back, I have my Wet n Wild The Comfort Zone palette. I've got Tarte Energy Noir palette. I've got the Dior Holiday palette from 2014. It's just a little quad of some nice taupey colors. I've got the Maybelline The Nudes palette, which I haven't even tried yet. I've got a mini from Smashbox. This is the Multi Flash little palette. And I have the Maybelline The Big Eyes in Luminous Browns. In the fourth drawer, I keep my lip products. I divide them up with these little... Um, drawer dividers that I got from Daiso for $2.80. Firstly, in the very, very back, I have a little lip product that I bought from Daiso for a Halloween costume that I didn't end up using. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but it was only $2.80, so I'll just leave it in the back for now. Then here I've got a Body Shop lip butter in the strawberry scent. Two of the mini... Too Faced Melted Lipsticks from the 2015 Holiday Collection, so it's Melted Berry and Melted Chihuahua. Next over I've just got some regular shaped lipsticks. We've got this one from Cargo. This is in the color Sedona. Um, you can't really get Cargo very easily anymore, but it's a really nice um, hot orange color. I've also got a NARS Audacious in the shade Catherine. I've got two from Revlon. This is the color Love That Pink, which is one of my favorites, but it's been discontinued. And this one is Cherries in the Snow. 
I've got another from Revlon. This is from the Ultra HD range and it's in the color Tulip. And this is from L'Oreal. This is in the shade Flaming Kiss. It's a really nice everyday red. In the next little corner, I keep my MAC lipsticks. So I currently have in there MAC Russian Red and MAC Sin, which is a permanent color, but I picked it up from the Rocky Horror Picture Show collection. So that's why it's got Frankenfurter's lips on it. Up the front, I keep liquid lipsticks and lip pencils. I only have one lip pencil, and it's a NARS Velvet Lip Liner in Waimea. I also have a Rimmel Provocalypse in Little Minx, a Rimmel Apocalypse in Celestial, and another one in Stellar, and then a Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade uh, Double Dare. In the middle, I have some lip crayons. So I've got three from Revlon. This is a matte balm in Complex. I also have two of the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains in Smitten and Honey. And then these minis are all from the Tarte collection from Holiday, either 2014 or 2013, I'm not sure, I didn't buy them for myself. And they come in a variety of different colours, but none of them are permanent, so I won't go through them. And in this last little section, I keep lip glosses. So I've got one of the Maybelline Colour Elixirs in Raspberry Rhapsody. Three of the L'Oreal uh, Color Extraordinaires or Color Riche Extraordinaires in Nude Vibrato, Fuchsia Drama, and Rose Finale. Got a Clarence Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in shade number five, and a NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Peach Cobbler. In the fifth drawer and the last of the thin drawers, I keep all of the boxes that I'm hoarding of all the different makeup products I've got. So I've got MAC Fix Plus, Energy Noir, uh, Marc Jacobs, Avian, Naked, Bosha, uh, Revlon, a ton of different boxes that eventually I will throw out, but for some reason have not yet done that. I also have some extras of the little containers. I do rearrange my makeup every once in a while, so I keep the containers to rearrange them into. And I have some extra brushes. So I've got three from Sigma, one from Furless, and then just a little eyebrow brush in the bottom. The sixth drawer and the first of the large drawers holds my entire nail polish collection. I don't have heaps of nail polish like some people, but I do have quite a lot, and I'd like to work through a lot of them next year. I keep them in just random little containers that I find. So this container used to hold my hair straightener. These containers are um, old Swispers cotton bud containers and that's just what I store them in. In the very back I have a uh, nail polish remover tub from Beauty Theory. I also have a cuticle remover down the bottom and two nail strips that I was given. I loosely divide them by color but I kind of ran out of room to do that so I keep my oranges and reds here and then it goes pinks, blues, purples into dark blacks. I've got neutrals here except for these two which obviously aren't neutral but don't fit anywhere else and these are uh, glitters and my base and top coat and these little French manicure set that I've had for much much too long. In the seventh drawer, I keep backups of uh, body products. So I've got two cleansers, a sunscreen, uh, lotion, 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 and a room spray. The second to last drawer holds all of my makeup bags and also my pencil sharpeners. I've got makeup bags from Ren, Muji, Random, that's a brush belt from Inglot, and then some more bags in the bottom. In the very last drawer of my IKEA Alex 9 drawers, I keep all of my empties. Whether that's empties from a project pan, my regular empties, or empty boxes that I may or may not include in a video later. Also, sometimes I keep jars that I like that I think I'll use again, but so far I have not. 
at the very back of the drawer, underneath of the actual IKEA 9 drawers, I keep MAC products that I'm going to back to MAC, but that's currently a really small collection, so it just sits in the back. So there you go, that's my collection video and that's how I store all of my makeup products. If you have any questions about anything, I will link as much as I can in the description, but um, let me know if you want some more information about something, or if I wasn't very clear about something, or anything at all. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, bye!